Describe your vision for how learning and development world can retain its talented resources during this time of the great resignation, resignation slash reshuffle. Yeah, I think it's a great question, and uh, because uh, there's a lot of talent moving around and uh, coming coming up with new opportunities, and I think for us in the learning space, it's really redefining uh, what are the skills that you're going to need in the future, uh, and and being very clear about that and then purposefully designing your roles around those new needs uh, and then and, and really helping folks see where things are headed in the learning space. What qualities do you want to see in the leaders on your team, Paul? Um, I want I want them to be uh, want them to be themselves, really, and, and, and have a lot of self-awareness and work towards uh, you know, being more and more of who they really are. Um, as I've, if, if I've learned anything in the, in the many years I've been uh, working, it's that as I grow, I become, actually I become more of who I am. The other thing I, I challenge my team on a lot is reinvent your job every six months. I want you thinking about how do you, how do you continue to evolve the activities that you're involved in so that six months later, you can look back and say, wow, I'm doing things that are very different from what I was doing back you know, six months, a year, two, three years ago. Uh, so I, I really expect them to be thinking uh, forward and thinking about how their role is going to change over time and being intentional about that as well. Um, just because we know that things are changing so quickly, our roles are gonna change as well if we're, if we're really gonna grow and evolve.